gracious and loving God. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto you, my God, my strength, and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. So, God called to Samuel. And, you know, Samuel apparently wasn't too quick. Because it took a few times before he listened. But he did, he did listen. And later, Jesus called to Philip and to Nathaniel. And they dropped everything. They dropped everything and they followed the call. You know, it's, it's significant that these scriptures come up in the lectionary today since we're celebrating the completion of another session of Creating a Life That Matters. Because these people spent 18 weeks exploring their relationship with the sacred, with themselves, and with their individual passions. They each have a plan to become the person, the person they each are called. They have listened to the call. They've listened to the call. They've taken the time to figure out what that call is. And to, to begin to take the steps to achieve what they each are called to do. My friends, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. Because today we all, every one of us, is in the process of seeking our call. <coughs> you know, we, we begin. We begin when we're in diapers, looking for what we're supposed to be. You know, what am I supposed to do? And we start to explore, try to learn who we are as individuals. And later, we start to explore who we are among our friends and family. And we start to see ourselves as part of the whole. And sometimes, I think not often for this group, but sometimes as part of that exploration we sort of um, rebel against those who are limiting us, usually our parents. And then we grow a little bit more and we start to see ourselves as part of a much bigger community. We find a way to contribute to that community through our work and, and through our work of helping other people. And as we age, we grow, finding out who we are as older people. And finally, we start to face our limitations as human beings. And we, we find out that we are indeed mortal. And we face that more tenor. You know, I sometimes wonder about Samuel. I wonder about Samuel. Because he was dedicated to the temple as a small boy, probably as a baby. And he served Eli, helping the old man and meeting his needs. And most likely, Samuel saw this as his final calling. This is what I'm called to do. I'm called to serve this old man. But God seems to have had other ideas. Samuel was called to a greater service, a service to God. It took a little doing for Samuel to recognize that call. And I can imagine that you know, a direct call from God was probably at least a little bit frightening. He must have had misgivings. Sam, Samuel must have had misgivings about what he was being asked to do. And as time went on, I bet you he second-guessed himself, wondering, was I really called, or was it all in my head? And yet, he persevered. He found a way to be the person that God had called him to be. Now, similarly, 
Philip and Nathaniel were called to God's service. They were called to follow Jesus. <coughs> now, I can imagine that they probably knew Jesus well. He'd been living in Capernaum for a while. He probably met them in a synagogue or in the market. Or maybe, you know, friends introduced them. Perhaps they spent the evenings talking about the plight of the people in Galilee. Because the great majority of the people were desperately poor. And they were living in a society that was controlled by the Romans. Even, even the, the release of religion may have been difficult for them. Because to have their sins forgiven, they believed that they needed to travel to Jerusalem, which was not an easy trip, by the way. And then they needed to make a sacrifice in the temple. You know, for many of the poor people in the Galilee, that trip and the purchase of a sacrifice animal was cost prohibitive. It was just too expensive. So they felt like they had no way out. And yet, these fishermen, Philip and Nathaniel, found some hope some hope in the words of Jesus and they set aside their work and they set aside their families and they followed. <clears throat> they were called to share the message, the message of hope to the rest of the community. My friends, have you ever thought about what you were called to do? You know, maybe it's a direct insistent call like Samuel's. There are folks who say to me, you know, I just feel like I need to. I just feel like I need to. And maybe it's a call that develops over time. Like the calls of the disciples. But the question, the real question is, are you meeting your call? Are you following what you were called to do? Has your call changed over your lifetime? Most of us have. Have you adapted to that? The question is, find your call. Spend some time finding your call. And then figure out a way to follow it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Please join us.